Hello everyone, welcome back to We Know What You Like, Lucia here. Today on the channel, like I mentioned in the last episode, I am going to be continuing my last bit of my Chainsaw Man marathon. So I just did episode 10, well, I had dinner, now back from dinner, and now I'm about to watch episode 11, and then after this I'm going to watch episode 12. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same clothes, that is why. Yep, yep, yep. Um, let's see, what else? Um, last episode we had... Uh, it, we were reeling from the loss of our different um, members of the divisions, namely um, Aki's partner, whose name I don't remember, but he felt pain. And he realized um, through her sister that she was only in the unit still because of Aki. She tried to get him to leave and he was like, nah, yeah, I'm not. So I'm sure he feels maybe some sort of torness, I'm sure. Meanwhile, Doc, uh, I was going to say Doc, eat the fuck. Denji's like, you know what? I'm not really feeling any bothered by this. And I think it's because he's emotionally stunted <laughs> considering his youth and how he died. And he no longer really has a heart. And, you know, but I think that will be the learning process. You know, he will eventually maybe find heart or like care about that stuff. And if it doesn't, and if they're just trying to go, oh, you know, the non shunin route of stuff, then what's the point? You know, then what's the point? I, I don't know. Like, I, I need to care about these characters. And so far, I don't necessarily care about them. You know, again, I was I was kind of shocked about her dying. But if I had to think about it, it's like, yep, I don't really care. I felt a little bad for Aki because he was crying because I'm not a monster. You know, if someone's crying, I'm not going to be like, ha ha or anything. But in terms of me, I guess I'm like Denji, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, um, what's her name? Power and uh, Denji are now being hunted, trained, whatnot, with uh, Sexy Boys. Do I know his name? I don't know, but I've decided he's my favorite character. And uh, <laughs> he's like, well, I'm the best devil hunter and y'all need to be better and so therefore if y'all can defeat me then that's how i know y'all are gonna be better because y'all are easily killed and that's no bueno nacho basically and if you're watching this episode on youtube yes we are done on patreon so just go over there if you or just wait a week it's honestly up to you but what you can't get on youtube is the uncut so you just need to head to the pinned comment for that uncut and you can um what's the word time <laughs> your uh show episode i'm watching this on crunchyroll with my reaction it's pretty simple there's like a countdown like a three two one sort of thing there's also a um what's the word like 15 seconds of footage that you're able to do also it's it's pretty easy and then also pin comment for like the highlight section because again on YouTube it's only like an intro and outro sort of thing and you know pin comment for the highlighted section <laughs> my reaction if you don't want to see the uncut if you will anywho um let's get this parted party started right now. All right. Well, that was episode 11. And basically, um, I feel like there's definitely much more to Makima than she's saying. You know, she puts on this airs of, you know, for the safety, for the good of the people, for the good of the people. And I was watching the, the opening, obviously, for this episode again, because I was like, hey, isn't that the, the one that does the dance? And um, Makima looks a little sus. So, like, there's this one part she looks like she's, like, reaching out for Denji. And it's like, is she trying to show him? Or am I, like, reading into that? Maybe I'm reading into it. But then again, why would she try to kill him? Or, like, I don't even know, kill him. But, like, why would she try to choke him? But then again, like, I even thought about it, too. It's like, nah, bro. You, you knew. It's like, if you knew they were going to attack, and yet you put yourself out of town... You know what I'm saying? It's like, hmm. And then the way, what's, whatever his name is, da the way Daddy was talking, <laughs> the way Sensei was talking, it's like, 
you know, I don't do anything because you have the best for humanity. But, like, the way he was looking at her, it's like, and he's a devil hunter. It's like, is she a devil? You know? You know? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, like I said during the outro, um, I, I, I'm excited to know more about these other fiend characters in this special division because they look like they're going to be a lot of fun, actually. So how many humans do we have? We have Aki, we have Knife Girl, whatever her name is, and potentially Sensei. Well, we don't know if he's actually a human. He just, he's potentially a human. Yeah. I think he's a human. So that's at least three people in the special division that are humans. Um, so I think it's interesting because I remember um, the snake biting the, the ghosty excuse me, spirit, the ghosty devil and you know, I guess now it's under her control. Did they make a contract? It's like, okay, if you get defeated, you now have that one in your back pocket. Is that what happens? I don't I don't know. Potentially. I'm gonna go watch episode twelve right now though. So we'll see what happens. And um yeah, I'll see you there though. But uh bye for now.